it was off to a flying start. And so we are going to begin with thanksgiving in appreciation of all that the Lord did yesterday. And of course, in anticipation of a greater manifestation of his presence and power as we continue to celebrate today. The psalmist says in Psalm 92, and in verse 1, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. And so we are going to lift our voice and praise the Lord and thank him for how he started with us yesterday in this celebration of the global evangelization. It's been one year since we have been having this crusade, Afatas crusade, in different locations. Now we want to appreciate all that the Lord has done. We want to praise and thank him for everything. Lift up your voice and give thanks unto the Lord. Praise his wonderful name for all that he has done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Since the start of the global crusade a year ago, thousands of souls have been won into the kingdom of God. And we have witnessed over those months spectacular healings and deliverances as God manifested his awesome power at every gathering in different locations. Now we are going to lift up our voice and bless the Lord and praise him, worship him, adore him because he has done marvelously. Let's lift up our voice. We are going to express unto our God heartfelt thanks because all that the Lord has done over this month ought to be marvelous in our eyes. Let us praise God and celebrate the release of captives globally over the past one year of this crusade and in fulfillment of the promise he gave us in Isaiah chapter 49 from verse 24, it says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captives delivered? But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. Let's call upon the name of the Lord as we offer thanksgiving, as we offer praise because the Lord delivered on his promise. The Lord delivered indeed on his promises. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still thanking God. Let us thank God for the success of the global crusade over the past one year. Let us thank God for the expansion of his kingdom. Even through this crusade, we've gone from place to place. The Lord has visited us. Souls have been saved. Lives have been turned around and transformed. Let's give thanks unto the Lord for making this evangelization program successful from place to place. Everywhere that we have been, people have given their lives to the Lord. People have experienced his healing and deliverance power. Let's just thank and appreciate our God. In Jesus' name we pray. We are now going to pray for all the people gathered for this celebration in all locations worldwide. And for all those connected with us on the various social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and even those that are connecting via radio and television, we are going to pray that as we celebrate today, God will break forth in his power, his saving power, and many will be saved. We are going to experience mass conversion as the Lord reaches out to the people, even today again, let us pray. Let's pray. Mass conversion of souls. It will happen. Because it is the will of the Lord. Pray and tell the Lord that this is our expectation. And the expectation of faith shall not be disappointed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are going to pray that participants who do not know the Lord and they are with us in this celebration, we are going to pray that God will grant them just one consuming desire, which will be to see Jesus. 
We read in John's Gospel, chapter 12, verse 21, those certain Greeks that came to the feast and all that concerned them when they came to Philip is that, sir, we will see Jesus. Let's talk to the Lord in prayer. That nothing will distract them. Nothing will hold any interest for them but to see Jesus and to know him. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That nothing else about this celebration will distract them and they will be focused on seeing Jesus. They will be focused on knowing him. Talk to the Lord in prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Right now we are going to petition heaven. That as we celebrate, God will keep touching lives. And miracles of salvation, miracles of healing, miracles of deliverance, breakthrough will continue unabated. As this celebration continue over the six-day period, let's talk to the Lord in prayer. Call upon the name of the Lord. Let's pray and pray in faith that, Lord, throughout this period of celebration, let your power fall in Pentecostal dimension and let us have lives turned around, transformed, salvation everywhere, all over the world, healings everywhere, all over the world, deliverances everywhere, all over the world, breakthrough as we celebrate all that the Lord has done for us in the past year. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are still praying. This time we are going to pray against every form of hindrances, every form of opposition, every obstacle that the enemy will think to throw in the way all that the enemy may have hatched to stand against the continuation of this global crusade. Isaiah chapter 43 and in verse 13 we are told, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. It then says, I will walk, and who shall let it? We are going to pray. Nothing is going to hinder the continuation of this global crusade. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That God's power will fall in vengeance and smash through every obstacle, every hindrance, every barricade that the enemy may think to erect in the way of the continuation of this global crusade. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Ask the Lord to remove every hindrance, to take every obstacle out of the way. Let's ask that his power will smash through everything, whatever the enemy has thought to put in the way, that everything will be cleared off. And this global crusade will continue. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In Genesis chapter 1 from verse 3 to 1, we are told how that God finished his work of creation in six days. How marvelous that we are having six days of celebration. Now we are going to pray that by the end of this celebration, God will perfect everything and prepare us for a fresh launch of the global crusade. That the next location will be announced very soon. And then we are going to continue like we started before. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. A fresh start. A relaunch. This time for greater and better outcomes. For a greater and mightier move of the Spirit of God. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Pray. That for our Father and the Lord, that the Lord has been using over these past 12 months, refreshing, renewal. That the Lord himself will continue to refresh him. Greater anointing, greater manifestation of the power of God through his life, through his ministration. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.